All right, let's uh, show you how to replace your stainless pistons in your brake calipers on the Twizy. First of all, you're going to remove the wheel. It's going to look somewhat like that. Because this is not going to be chrome and this is not going to be red, but it's all in all the same. Uh, before untightening the two bolts of uh, 13 millimeter one and two back here, uh, I suggest you use a five Allen key and uh, untighten those two first and then remove these two. So I went ahead and I untightened those two, just loosen it up a bit, not remove, just loosen. Now go ahead and untighten the upper one, number 13 here, and number 13, the lower one down here. You're going to see it. That's it. Now with those two in your hand, you can see that they have used Loctite, and I suggest you buy Loctite before you go ahead and remove those so you can tighten them again with Loctite. And you just pull that off. That's step one. Step two, remove the hexagon bolts here. You see they're quite long. Once those hexagons are out, you can simply pull that off. Same goes with this one. And you are at the caliber of the piston. The easiest way to remove that old piston is with your left hand, reach into the twizzy and start pressing on the brake pedal slowly and you slowly see how it's just getting out pushed out now don't do it too fast you don't want all your brake fluid flushing out just very very slowly and in the end it'll just pop out now make sure you have a pan underneath to collect all the brake fluid that'll rush out now it's almost out all I'm gonna do now is use my hand and just there we go it's out. Now that was the easy part. For those of you who bought also the uh, O-rings, look inside, you'll notice that the thinner O-ring goes in the exterior and the thicker O-ring goes right behind it. So you've got two sizes. That goes out, this goes in. Before putting those in, I suggest you uh, smear them with some brake fluid to make them nice and slippery and then put them into position. Same goes with the piston caliber. Smear it off and then push it in. Now after I've uh, smeared the new caliper with some brake fluid, you'll probably find it impossible to get it back in. And that's because you need to remove this uh, venting uh, totally so you get some air out when you push it in. It's impossible to push it in by hand without first removing this one. It takes a little bit of effort, but in the end you'll manage to get it back in. You need to push it fully in so you can uh, place the brake pads easily back into position. From this point on, all you have to do is, uh, all you've done until now backwards, just uh, pull the bolts back in and tighten those two as soon as you've put it back into position and tighten that caliper onto the axle here. Keep in mind that the brake fluid is uh, corrosive. If you get any uh, sprays on the plastics, Get it cleaned up real fast or on the middle, it can uh, wipe away your color and start it to rust. Uh, last thing I'd like to say is uh, bleed the brakes, not just the front ones that you've changed the, the pistons, but also the back ones. Go back to forth around the car. It's not very hard to bleed brakes, especially on this car because the brake is right next to you. And you can simply push it with your one hand and with the other, uh, bleed them on the spot. Enjoy!